right now I'm working with some old white clay that is like I need to wedge it more um, and yeah that looks pretty good trying to throw with a pound and four ounces a piece because it's like a large mug After I weigh all of these out, I will then re-wedge them. It's pretty boring, honestly, but I know that I find watching this kind of stuff interesting. So I know other people do as well. Six. So and maybe we'll use this as the handles. Get that wrapped up. So with wedging, you're basically trying to push all of the air out of the clay and homogenize the clay. You're trying to make it all one solid thing. And especially because this was reclaimed clay from a very old bucket, um, it needs to be wiped a lot uh, because it has, reclaim has lots of bubbles and just, parts of the clay that have been more broken down than other parts. So like the stuff on top is really liquidy and the stuff on the bottom is really solid and really broken down. Also, reclaimed clay smells really bad. Like there's like a sulfur kind of smell. Not great for my wrists, though. I sat down to throw. I threw a ball of uh, dark star clay, and then I, without thinking, started throwing just plain white clay. And you're not supposed to mix clays because they have like they have different shrinkage rates. It's a whole thing. And I realized after I got my first ball of white clay centered crap, I need to change the water in my throwing bucket and I need to clean my splash pan. So I took a break to go outside and do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to throw more of that white clay. First, I'm going to finish what's on the wheel currently. Um, I'm going to try and make some mugs and actively get them dried correctly so slowly and be able to actually attach handles so we'll see i think i'm also going to build my bun pan rack today so that i can have a place to slow dry things i need to get a cover and shelves okay
Okay, well, I realized that I never started or ended this vlog, so um, it was a decent day. I got a fair amount done in the studio. I made three mugs. Those are gonna sit and dry slowly over the next couple of days and then we've got to figure out something for the kiln because I've got the electric run to it and everything but I don't have a vent for it which kilns can give off some toxic fumes in the first couple hours of firing uh, you just need to make sure that they're vented outside it's fine Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Um, like I said in my last video, I do want to start putting out content more regularly. I um, uh, am able to actually start making now that I am in my studio. So, yeah. Alright, bye.